Trio. And CBC's Marty Adler caught up with him and some of the others to see what it would take to win this series. With the Tigers and Jays so evenly matched, it's going to take more than hitting and fielding and pitching to win this series. It's going to take luck. I'm a Detroit Tiger fan, and I'm from Dresden, and I put all my luck in this here little bottle. This is my lucky charm for the Jays today on Sports Bug Radio. Put it on here, turn it into Tom and Jerry, and they're going to stick it to the Tigers. I know I got a, a dog that's going to predict the, the Tigers are going to win. I'm rooting for the Toronto Blue Jays, and I brought this stone from the shores of Lake Ontario, from the beaches in Toronto. And last weekend at Exhibition Stadium, George Bell blessed this personally. The two millionth fan from Blenheim, Ontario, Wayne Namtu. I'm a Detroit Tiger fan. I have been for many years. I consider this one of my luckiest days. Yesterday was my uh, 39th birthday, and uh, for winning, I received a color TV, two season tickets, and a bag of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my lucky hat, my lucky horn, and I'm rooting for Toronto. Okay, Tom, do you have any good luck charms, like uh, a rabbit's foot or something? Well, I never carried a rabbit's foot around because I figured it wasn't too lucky for the rabbit. How could it bring me any luck? A vote for the Tigers! And I brought the horseshoe! What do you do with that? I'm going to hold it. They're going to win. I'm going to hold it up, and they're going to win. For CBC Sports in Detroit, this is Marty Adler looking for luck. Hi, Marty. <laughs> no. Hi, Dad. No, you, you overdid it. <laughs> oh, Marty. By the way, a good portion of Marty's salary went to paying off that lovely woman. But Marty tells me he'll be back for more in Tiger Stadium. We'll hear from him again tomorrow night on News Final, when hopefully we'll be able to tell you there will be a playoff game on Monday. Who finished first? Yeah. The Tigers. They began the season something like 11-19, and 19, but even then, manager Sparky Anderson believed, saying he's got the club who could win this thing. As well, the Tiger organization made the move of the season, really. They picked up Doyle Alexander at the beginning of August. We all know too well what he did. Without Doyle, the Tigers wouldn't be celebrating tonight. And as for you Blue Jay fans, take heart. The fact that you lost to a good ball club. Your team didn't choke. It's just the talent supply had been choked off. Believe me, time does heal all wounds. Next year at this time, you'll be smiling at the thought you were ever this disappointed or this concerned. And someone once said, tragedy in life doesn't lie in not reaching your goal. Tragedy lies in having no goal to reach. One day, the Jays will reach their goal, so don't view what is happening now as a tragedy. View it as a challenge for a bright future to go along with memories of what really was a good season, albeit disappointing. The Jays may have lost first place, but hopefully not their pride. After all, you may not know it, but there were some pretty impressive folks watching the Jays at Tiger Stadium, and our Marty Adler ventured into the stands to find them. When the book is finally written on this weekend series between the Tigers and the Jays, they'll write that this was the greatest series of 1987. And for the cosmopolitan cities of Detroit and Toronto, anybody who is anybody has got to be here at the ballpark this weekend. In fact, there are celebrities all over the place, and we went looking for them. Okay, Chuck Berry, what are you doing here? Who are you rooting for? Oh, I come down to see the Tigers play. I'm rooting for the Tigers, and the Tigers are going to win. And, and by the way, my concert would be in the Music Hall in Toronto. And I want everybody to come down to see me and watch me do my little thing. Bette Midler's here today. Who are you rooting for, Bette? Of course, the Tigers! Are you really Bette Midler? Come on. I'm really Bette Midler. No, I'm just <laughs> with you. <laughs> Put that up here, everybody. <laughs> We're looking for celebrity lookalikes. Is this Police Academy 4? <laughs> okay, is this Fawn Hall? Yeah, this is Fawn Hall. Tell me who you're rooting for and prove to me you're Fawn Hall. I'm rooting for the Tigers. Yeah. And Whoa. I'm Fawn Hall. Right. And they're going to win. All right, it's marvelous Marvin Hagler. Come on, tell me who you're rooting for. Uh, and tell me. Being that I'm American, even though they took my title from me, I still got to root for, for the Tigers. Prove to me you're Marvin. Hey, it's Marvin. It's Marvin. <laughs> Dom DeLuise, who are you rooting for? Tr Toronto, of course. Prove to me you're Dom DeLuise. You, you got some need? Looks just like Fergie Oliver. Hey. No, I'm just a fan. It's not me. Who are you rooting for? Right. Well, who do you think? <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> Monty Hall, who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for the Tigers. who are going to win it today. Prove to me you're Monty Hall. Pick a door. <laughs> okay, Eddie Murphy now. Tell me, Eddie. Who are you rooting for here? I am rooting for the Tigers. Okay, now, Ed, you are really Eddie Murphy. Yes, no doubt about it. Okay, prove to me you're Eddie Murphy. I'm going back to be a Beverly Hills cop. I love it. Ken Daniels, CBC Toronto. Who are you rooting for? Tigers. Tigers, prove to me you're Ken Daniels. Now for the Maple Leaf highlights. 
So now you see what you've missed by not being here this afternoon, all the celebrities. And there's this crazy rumor going around that the next game that Detroit plays right here at Tiger Stadium, their greatest fan, Tom Selleck, is going to be in the grandstand. And I'm going to be sitting right beside him. So if you're here, look for us. I'll be the one wearing the hat. In Detroit, this is Marty Adler for CBC Sports. Yeah, as if we couldn't tell you'd be the one wearing the hat. Thanks to Marty for that. He doesn't need much to have a happy Christmas. It was last February that I came for dinner at the Flying Tiger. The snow had been falling uh, all afternoon. It was really kind of high. I went into the Flying Tiger, and by the time I came out, the snow was really piled up high all over my car. And a little kid by the name of Dennis was cleaning off my car when I came out. And I asked him why he cleaned off the car, and he said he recognized me, he likes watching the sports, he's a Spitfire fan, and he wanted to do something nice for me. And I've never forgotten it. Now let's go find Dennis. I think Dennis lives in here, okay? Hello? Morning. Hi. Is Dennis home? Yep. Are you Dennis's mom? Yep. What's your name? Geraldine Jew. Do you know who I am? Yep. Who am I? Maddie, uh, I don't care. Yeah, we gotta tell Dennis. So, oh, look, 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 there's Dennis there. You can see Dennis right there. 